Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing okay. So I, I have um, I, I have my daughter's uh, school's winter, I guess, concert tonight. Only problem is I thought it was later than it was. So uh, I want to get you guys. Um, I want to record the video. I wanted to make sure everybody's in the right frame of mind. Uh, going into tomorrow's session. So I kind of want to do a little bit of a condensed version uh, just to get you guys set up. Please obviously come to uh, Morning Strategy tomorrow a little bit early. I want to start a few minutes earlier just to kind of uh, go over what I'm thinking. So macro-wise, right? Macro-wise, the market is, again, when I say the market, the QQQs, that's that's what I'm looking for. I, I don't care about the Dow. I don't care about the IWM. The, the Qs for me represent my macro universe because Again, this is where all the speculation money is. This is where all the darlings of hedge funds and mutual funds and pension funds of stocks that people want to own for generations like the Apples and Facebooks and Googles and the Amazons of the world. So from my universe, this is all I'm looking for, right? And for five days or so, okay, we've been looking at a lot of congestion. This is, again, if you haven't, uh, if you've watched any any video, any, anything I recorded in the live webinar for the last uh, four or five days, you know, we're getting value. Okay. But that value is really being tested because of the contraction channels. And you can see again, once again, you're going through a four day cycle of specific, very, very specific plays. And if, if you've, if you've seen your level of activity starting to shrink over the last four or five days, you're probably not alone, but again, it's not about how many trades you put on it's how many trades you put on properly. But tonight, if you start looking at, at kind of groups within groups, there's a very specific group out there that I think is going to finally lead the market higher. And those names are the semiconductors. If you look at the semiconductors, and when I was looking at charts today, okay, basically the only semis I really follow um, are like NVIDIA, right? I, I, I like NVIDIA because NVIDIA trades really, really well. It's the closest thing that resembles you know, maybe like a Netflix, and we'll get to Netflix in a second, some weird after hours uh, selling in Netflix, which is ironic because I actually had it on the long list uh, going into tomorrow. Now it's down like five bucks after the close. I can't figure out why. And there is no news and there is no volume. But I, I you know, I, I follow the video. I trade the video. I like the video. Uh, but again, I was looking through all the charts and I said, wow, the semiconductors look very, very well. So I started looking uh, at this SMHs and the SMHs broke out today. And again, uh, Look, you might not trade a lot of components uh, of the SMHs, but the semiconductors really do make up a lot, all right? A lot of the NASDAQ 100. And if you believe in the QQQs and you track this for strength and weakness, you can finally see where everything will start to correlate. So when you start looking uh, at charts tonight, again, I always uh, encourage traders to always look at charts. Again, don't, you know, don't be that person, that trader who is entitled for somebody else to do the research for you. Again, 85% of everything we do always stems from the night before his research, which is tonight, and 15% what happens tomorrow morning because of the overnight uh, future. So it's very, very important to kind of have an opinion for tomorrow. And I do believe that the fact that we are seeing such strong setups, right? And you can go through a lot of charts in the semiconductors. I think it's going to spill over into everything else. Even Amazon woke up today. Just, just to give you an example, uh, even Amazon woke up today. And Amazon's been dead in the water, right? And you can make a case, you know, finally woke up. I'm kind of going to be watching Amazon tomorrow for a start, you know, a little bit, of, you know, if they can start reclaiming the previous couple of days, maybe it finally wakes up. Because the last time, right, last time here, it started reclaiming. If you can see just visually, you see the five day, right, the next day, and then finally started going. The five day, the next day, maybe it finally starts going. So there's a lot of copycat in these charts, a lot of stock patterns. You'll, you'll notice as you start trading longer and longer, they're not, they're not very creative. You know, these things kind of go the same way. So there's a lot of turning signals uh, in there. Uh, Apple continues to be uh, very, very strong. Looks like it wants to break out tomorrow. Uh, NVIDIA, I love. That's my favorite semi. 
Uh, big strong action. There was a nice trade yesterday. There was another nice pivot today. Um, in the video, and the video looks like it wants to go back to 220, right? You saw 217 and a half calls uh, being bought over the last couple of days. Uh, Facebook is getting stronger, right? Facebook is getting stronger. Um, the funny thing is, before whatever news is out there on Netflix, I actually like the setup going into tomorrow on Netflix because it, it had some news. It, it had some news this morning. They took it down. And then the bulls came right back and took it to the highs of the day. It just again, it's very, very to me, very interesting to see what news, if any, finally comes out because they're just walking. If you guys are just watching this, uh, they're just kind of walking Netflix down, down five. It's down five uh, after the close on absolutely no news and absolutely no volume. Very, very uh, odd. Maybe something comes out uh, tomorrow. If not, this is a this is gonna be a crazy case of uh, shoot first, ask questions later, uh, even beyond. Just to give you an idea how bullish. The market can get right even beyond looks like there is a channel and this beyond never goes up even BYND looks like there's a channel if it starts taking out uh, could go higher so tomorrow's session uh, could be uh, very very bullish we're obviously not going to be forecasting prices letting uh, everything uh, letting everything play out but you can tell even the non semiconductor names look good shop you can see the 60 minute view on shop getting tighter uh, you can see the 60 minute view uh, for example, on um, not even shop. Let's see, shop, Apple, uh, Tesla. You know, Tesla had a big run uh, again. For all you guys who caught Tesla, uh, congratulations. This was the big pivot on uh, Tesla today. That three fifty four. Uh, I said, you know, I said this this, this thing is a shop for three fifty seven. I screwed this thing up ridiculously today. Uh, but you know, I said there's a, there's a shot. It goes to three fifty seven. Went to three fifty seven and change. Uh, OLLI was very, very strong today off that 67, uh, 50, 68 level. Uh, just to give you an idea, uh, OLLI, right? That's 67.50, right? Here's a 67.50, 68 level. Uh, went to like 71. Uh, that was very, very strong as well. Uh, and the video was strong, 216. Right now it's trading at 17 and a half. So I, I like a lot of names. Uh, Roku never got to that area. Uh, ITCI never confirmed the second candle. Uh, Amazon again right when right to 1735 which it held I'm just trying to kind of kind of trying to go very very quickly uh, shop never obviously got to the 364 level trade 365 in reverse course but but again I, I, I do believe again when you when you're trading for a long long time right when you're trading in a very long long time you, you start to see periods of the market that you're going to slow down and this is obviously an area of the market that is just not giving you that green light. But I think, again, I think kind of sort of, kind of sort of, if everything goes well, I think tomorrow we will get that shot out of the cannon. Could be, could be. And I think the semiconductors uh, will lead the way. So uh, guys, let me give you guys uh, some ideas for tomorrow. My, my daughter's already, I, I can really feel her energy screaming, daddy, we got to go, we got to go, go. Again, daddy always messes up the time, obviously. Again, can't be good looking and rich at the same time. You can't be smart apparently at the same time as well. Um, so let me give you guys some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Let, let me give you guys some uh, some uh, semis. All you got to do is kind of look at the semiconductor group. Um, I like TXN. Look at TXN. Had a gap down on earnings. Uh, is attempting to come out of this channel. If 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 TXN could just start reclaiming uh, 124, right? I mean, stock closed at 123.72. You're buying it off that 124. Your risk is what a quarter, right? If it fails at if it fails at 124, what is your risk? A quarter for possibly making a three four dollar move, especially if the market uh, continues into a multi day run. That could be very very good. Um, I like you know I like Texas Instruments. Uh, clack. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.